Hey guys, welcome to Farm Simulator 19 on Oakfield Farm with Seasons Episode 1. Yes, I'm going to be restarting the Seasons series because it is a new series at this point. It's not a continuation, we are using Seasons, we are completely different from before, different vehicles even. So, to try and not follow the crowd with the few people that have this map, now I'm going to straight off say several things here. This map is not publicly available yet. It has been sent to Giants. Giants have got a busy week coming up. It's now Friday, so obviously FarmCon is over the weekend. We don't know when they're going to get around to testing it. So it could be next week. Who knows if it's even going to pass right away. We know Giants seem to have a thing with finding issues on Oakfield, so it could be a bit. So right now the only stock, well, the only maps that are technically supported by Seasons ready to go out the box are Giants maps. So, the two maps the game comes with default. That's it. Some of you may be disappointed by that. Most of you are, from what I've been understanding. But again, use that as a learning thing. Course play, not course play, geez. Seasons is a lot more complicated than it used to be. Learn it on there, and then once Oakfield comes out or your favorite map comes out that you want to use Seasons on, have at it. So I just want to get that off the hop. And of course, it's not out on consoles because PC are beta testing it. When it comes to console, eventually, shouldn't have any issues, fingers crossed, and you guys will have the maps that PC guys had to wait for. So, uh, just wanted to get that bit of uh, house cleaning out of the way. So we are set up in field one. Field two we planted last night, at night actually. Uh, I've not done any work at night in Farming Simulator. I took some screenshots which I'll put up on Instagram or something. So we got some of that done. We used cosplay, it's gonna miss some stuff. I don't care. Uh, so we've got oats in here as per my crop rotation chart over here. So these fields over here we will do oats. The fields that we have up north, so the, some of the actual bigger ones we will be doing canola, barley, so on and so forth. Each crop you see here is per year. So it's, uh, yeah, reality are we going to get through our full rotation? I believe it or not, the 7810 uh, is tuned up. It's got uh, 217 horse or something like that. I can't quite remember. She has, she has turned up a little. So we're rocking that. And it's... Other than the hills, actually, it's been coping really well on that field. Surprisingly. So we'll jump in over here. We did get the truck back predominantly for this, for the seed tender. So another thing I will say that I have been experiencing, Seasons ain't light on FPS this time around. I am noticing FPS drops more than I have done with Seasons in the past, so if you are on a lower end computer, be prepared. Right up here, uh, up in this square with these vehicles, I'm getting around 60. Down towards the yard where there's a lot of vehicles, it was all over the shop, anywhere from 40 to 50s, sometimes it would bump into the high 30s. My computer this time around in this game ain't happy. Straight up tell you it is not happy. So unfortunately, to begin with, this is going to be probably boring for a lot of you guys because it's just going to be seeding so I was but then this is the straight up downside of seasons is it's very very same for quite a while and then there is a lot of downtime so last night I did a whole bunch of work off camera an absolute bunch of work off camera so you will see me using cosplay quite a lot I use cosplay a lot already when I say I'm using cosplay a lot, you guys know I really, I'm going to be utilizing it a hell of a lot this time around. Okay, so we're going to be doing headlands, four passes around, there's no trees in the way to deal with, beautiful, up and down rows, that's 12 meters, generates, generate, thank you, and we'll go, first waypoint, we are on oats, drive 
And that'll head on down to the uh, bottom there. And that's leave us driving on into the dark. I still actually do want to do because I can't remember if I switched it off or not. So you can see the cheap money stuff there. I have bumped down our money. Get rid of the... Uh, really? Get rid of the blur. Uh, the death of field. You guys know I really, really do not like that one bit. So I had a bit of uh, weather come through on here last night in game. Where it was actually snow sleet kind of thing. It was plus one, but it was cold enough for all that type of crap. And it, unfortunately, it was coming through the roofs of buildings. I have got screenshots of that. So, I don't know if that's a season thing, or if that's a giant issue. Or a map issue. I, I don't know. I'll have to ask Oxy about that today at some point. He'll probably be around in the stream, so I'll ask him then. So, what we'll do now is we'll drive up to... Ah, oh, the trees are getting leaves. Ah, looky there. Uh, we're heading up to the uh, store so we can go get some seed and stuffs. Head up there. I'm also very tempted to do some pre-immersion fertilization for... Uh, Weeds. I do have weeds switched on. I don't know if you switch that off, if that makes a difference in seasons or not. At this point, I'm not too sure yet. Yes, I just slammed straight into the barrier of the map. Nobody saw that, right? Hopefully. So as far as tractors go, I've actually cut back a lot. Now... I was going to use the John Deere RX and by custom modem. And that thing wasn't working on course play properly. I was going to use the New Holland 70 series. That was also not working with course play properly. Course play right now, uh, one of the latest updates, seems to have a little bit of a bug where it's set auto turn circle, setting that automatically to like 38, 32 meters. So huge turn and circle. And the RX I got rid of for two reasons. It, I know it's an extremely high poly model. And I just didn't want to the risk of it really bringing down even more FPS. It's a nice model, don't get me wrong. Too high a poly for the game, I would argue. I would say there was no need. Uh, when the model was initially made, as much as I love the RX, there was no need to make it that detailed. Like the whole engine is modelled. The whole entire engine. Why? You can't open the bonnet, you can't open the hood, whatever you want to call it. You can't see it. What's the point of modelling it? Just do the sides of the stuff that you can see. And that's how modders get away with that type of stuff. Detail that you can see, do. Details that you aren't going to see like underneath the machine, typically, unless you roll it and Rainbow Dave, I mean, uh, Rainbow Dave. Why bother? Don't. <laughs> But that model, I don't know if they, KN, whatever they, these guys were, I'm just going to take a shortcut. I feel it's not planted yet. I don't know if the original creators of the mod ever, or whether they bought the model or actually did it from scratch, I don't know. If they did it from scratch, kudos to them, because that's a hell of a model. It's in traffic, what? The there is no traffic there. Huh? Has Oxy put traffic up that way now? I don't know if it's because he's Oxy's put different hedges in, but the map feels different. And I'll tell you what, the lighting. When I first loaded into this map, I wasn't taken away by seasons, I wasn't taken away by the lighting. But now spending time in it looking at stuff, it's made the game look so much higher definition, it's unfrickin' real. Certain stuff just pops where it didn't really pop before. So pretty cool. 
Also, we've got a pressure washer down here. I thought it was kind of perfect spot for it. Out of the way. Out of sight. Out of mind sort of thing. So, so where was that possibly saying stuck on traffic? I wonder if Oxy's got traffic up here now. He may well do, you know. No, no, there is no freaking traffic. What? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, I've got no idea. I'm surprised this thing's pulling it. 7810, dependable machine. So, now I've got some time in season, something that I have got some... Eh, I'm, not, I'm unsure about. Last night I was playing and the clouds, the wind speed was just stupid quick. It was six point something a second. And they were just whistling pie, sort of, I'd argue, almost like hurricane speed. It was extremely quick. So I was like, eh, maybe I could get it toned down with a bit. And the serious clouds they've tried to add in. I don't know if they can adjust that. But that looks so pixelated. It just doesn't look good. It really doesn't. You compare the stock giants volumetric clouds to those. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And some clouds have been noticing. And Dave said a lot of games can do this. You're not supposed to see it, but you can. If you look up, you can see a ri sort of rings where the center of the dome of the skybox is sort of thing. I've never been able to see that before. I don't know if that's... It's probably a game engine issue. I don't think it's seasons. I've just never seen it before. Definitely see it where the clouds are, though. I can't get the pointer far enough up, but yeah, you can kind of see it, though. It's little stuff. I've not actually come across any bugs, it's just, eh, maybe it could be touched up a tad. It just doesn't seem right, that thing, being able to pull this. But, yeah, it requires, what, 200 holes. And it's doing it okay. Uh, I haven't got the, uh, whatchamacallit. I'm always going to call it the Wopster. That's what it was called before. Uh, what's that even under? I think it actually could be under chainsaws. No. What the hell's it under? What's this Wobster under? Oh yeah, miscellaneous. Here. This thing. Because, really... Everything... Well, I'll show you guys. I'll just buy it. So we've got it, we've got it, but... It says everything in the panel here, so where we are, elevation, what crop, uh, what percentage is grown, water in the soil. I'm not too sure what this one is. And this one's probably fertilizer. Maybe. Or water. Yeah, maybe that's fertilizer. Yeah, I'm not sure actually what those are. 66% <laughs> fertilized. That must be this one then. But yeah, it's do we really need it now? Oh. Now yeah, do we do we really need it? I don't know. But we got it. Uh, if we check over at our crop here. We about the same. So what are we going to likely do now? Uh, I'm thinking now actually we'll go up and load up the sprayer with some herbicide because I think we're going to be needing that more quicker than fertilizer. Doesn't the door open? Yeah, I thought so. What traffic is it seeing? I have no idea what traffic it's seeing. 
And yes, I'm using this thing again. I'm hoping Causeplace fix the issues with it, but I doubt it. Actually, I don't know if it's the, the Causeplay or this. Could be, uh, could actually be this. Now what my plan is eventually, I'm only gonna half fill this with herbicide. Is it herbicide? Pesticide? Whatever, pesticide. No, yeah, herbicide actually, because it's weeds. Have you guys have seen, I think, on Marwal, I had the uh, tanks that had fertilizer in or herbicide. So I will be using them on here. I haven't got them yet. I meant to buy them. I forgot to buy them. But what we'll do with those is we'll just have them in a shed somewhere. So we can uh, swap out from this when needs be. I think once you've sprayed them, I think that's pot potentially it. I am not 100% on that one. That's the thing, that's once you guys start getting into seasons as well, we'll all be helping each other from what we've learned. So it's, it's way more complicated than it used to be. Way more complicated. So in theory, if I spend some time on it during streams and reluctantly in the evenings, I should be able to progress through relatively quickly. The only time I probably won't do a lot of on ca off camera is harvest time. So we'll do seeding and stuff like that all on camera. I may and let me know your opinions on this one guys I may pick up another cedar so we can run two cedar operations at the same time I think that will be beneficial actually I'm, the more I'm thinking about that the more I'm probably going to do it in the stream tonight and run two cedars I think that will be very beneficial uh, what's this one Because we do have a lot of acreage to cover. You look, 31, 33, 29. They're big fields. So that's why I'm thinking about that. So the herbicide, I think I'm only going to put half tanks up. About that. Two forward leaders. And that is, again... Is that GPS? Yeah. Uh, that is solely so... I can offload it easily and put it in the tanks later. On the way back, we'll just cut through this field here. Until it's got crop, then I won't be doing this anymore. But until then, still got to get ploughed. We have permission to go through it. Let's just, let's just say that. The yeah, another awesome thing about the cedar. The cedar? Wow, the cedar. Yes, this is a cedar. Oh. Uh, stables, bells, out point. Yeah, we have no bells yet. It's going to be a long time yet. Another awesome thing about this thing. It's quick. <laughs> it's very quick. Things are awesome. I'm pretty sure this never used to be a gateway or anything here. I'm almost certain it never used to be, unless it's going to fill out in the summertime. Have I really been on here that long? You know, here would actually be a, a good photo, I think. We'll try different ones. Let's see what comes out decent, what doesn't. Actually, after I'm done recording this, I've got to go record uh, Euro Trucks and Video. Euro Trucks and Video? No, American Trucks and Video. Sorry, to get you guys hopes up. I haven't touched Euro Truck for a while now. Downloaded a new mod, a new graphics mod, actually, that's. I'm testing. Seems pretty decent. At some point, I'll probably run that with. Uh, 
Pro mods. But I don't think Pro mods is ready yet, as far as updates. Now once we move on to seed in some of the bigger fields, I'm going to throw the seeder up onto probably the the 9,000 John Deere. And a replacement for the RX in the 70 series, I ended up buying a John Deere 8,000 RT. Now I'm just going to unfold this, uh, do a test blip with it. And see if it comes up with anything on the field info. Or whether I should just hold it in the tank and wait until we see some weeds and possibly learn from that. Because if there's no need for us to spray it right now and it doesn't actually have any pre immersion, what's the point? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything there. And we don't need to fertilize yet because it's not at the first growth stage. Germination failed. Zero. They've added extra colors by the looks of things. Yeah, there's no extra color there. That's for the growth weeds. Fertilized. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything there. Sweet. You have to see the fields have got missions on it though. So these fields here, they're ready. Now field 33 is going to take hours to seed up. Alright, so we'll just leave this in the uh, tank for now. I thought I would go ahead and spray, but if we're not going to see any benefit right now, I'll probably want to hold off on doing that. So at least that's going to be waiting in the wings. We could go ahead and pick up the two tanks that I forgot to buy and go fill. Could go ahead and do that. A little bit of setup as we're seeding them. I can show you guys some of the machines we have. So you've seen the John Deere 7810. Uh, we have the John Deere 6930, 6920, whatever model that is, I forget. We have that. You'll see the uh, fast track there, which, due to the no, yeah, no clip, or the, no, the clip distance, should I say not no clip, clip distance uh, FPS script that Ian made in FS17 that got converted, but he has not released it and don't know if he plans to, unfortunately, which is in this map, you saw it disappear because I reset those very aggressively. Anyway, uh, we've got the idea as a combine, obviously the Horsch, uh, the Fast track over there. The new Holland two-wheel drive. The nine and eight RTs. Seventy-eight ten. You guys have seen that. The old military truck. We've got that. JCB loader or telehandler. Bruin trailer. Which, yeah, I don't know what we'll be using. That or the uh, truck thinking that trailer more than anything oh yeah I keep forgetting about this I've got the Fiat, I don't know how much I'm going to use this to tell you guys the truth, I really don't uh, but we will, we'll have it at some point to use maybe be my classic tractor I've got to have a classic tractor kicking around somewhere uh, oh yeah we've got the uh, Fortress in it, or however you pronounce it for the mower, thought about the idea mentioned it to Dave and Dave's like oh that would be a good idea, so I think Dave's using that too. Something different. Maybe not be British, but I don't care. I've uh, stopped caring on that stuff. And here it is, yeah. 6920 is not even back to the yard yet. It's not even seen the yard yet. So uh, we'll go ahead and put the money in for those tanks. Now these are off of one. Well, you can see where they're off of. They're modern welt. So we want one of these. And then liquid fertilizer. Now both of these have actually upped how much they can carry, I think. 
yeah, 10,000 readers up at the mass. A piece. So I edited those. So what are they? Eight and a half by the looks of things? They're worn and plate. Yeah, keep as is. Uh, you can't turn the back with each other. Oh, that kind of sucks. So we'll buy that one. Yes. Enter the money in. Enter the money in. So I don't need to worry about it. next time. Liquid. And buy. Perfect. And there we go, they can take a net down to the yard. We'll take one of them back, but the other one will just uh, let it go down there. I'm actually, we'll take this up to go refilled. And the other one will leave in now because it has the actual uh, sprays with stuff in there. So just enjoy the drive and the sights. Not so much the sounds, because we can't hear Nashink, but the uh, the sights of the greenery of mid-spring. Air temperature's coming up, soil temperature six, it's crops moist, or well, the ground's moist. I can't remember what that means. I really can't remember what that means. I looked in the help section. The help section doesn't seem as detailed as it was in 17, actually. Which is another thing that I'm kind of disappointed about. From what I've been able to tell so far, what a lot of people are curious about is the crop rotation buff. Now, I believe it's a fertilization state. It may be yield, I'm not sure. I think it's fertilization state buff. Again, that could be wrong. So down to the nutrients uh, crop pools. Corn and soya beans. Corn takes a lot of nitrogen where soya beans put nitrogen into the soil. That's why you see corn farmers, millennial farmer, for example, rotate. And that's actually where I learned that from. And we were talking about that in last night's stream. I say last night's stream. It was Wednesday's stream. And something that about Millennial Farmer, I'll quite openly say, you learn a lot from Millennial Farmer. Is uh, It's worth a watch of his content, guys. It truly is. If you're not subscribed to him, I highly, highly recommend you subscribe to him. Is this the right field? What field are we in? No, this is the wrong field. This crop dead. It's got sugar beets in the house, that fellow. They're dead. You killed him, mate. That's another thing I'll probably do at some point is uh, some root crops. No, obviously. I need to make sure I get. Was that the turn? Yeah, it was. Screw it, going through the hedge. <laughs> uh, the. Farmcon's coming up, so the Farmcon coming up. What do you guys think the DLC is going to be? Announcing all the platinum DLC vehicles in the class. Mm -hmm. Now today, Giants released. Time you me recording this Thursday, they released a very small mower, like a brush hog sort of thing, which looks kind of cool actually. I'm not going to lie, I'll probably download it, take a look, see. I've got me thinking, Giants never, never have small equipment like that. Hint for orchards. Hmm. <laughs> I'm probably clutching at straws here, big time, just grasping at them, just, hey, a hint for the, for orchard stuff, real orchards with real orchard machinery and tractors that have tracks and small little tractors. But I'm probably further from the truth, let's be honest. I hope to God it is, and if it is, and they're adding like a new whole sub-genre sort of thing to do like that. I hope they realised where they screwed up in 17 with Sugarcane and didn't give the modders the files that they need to easily be able to put it into their maps. Because I'll straight up say, 
Giants really screwed over the modders that wanted and put to try and put it in their maps last time around. People can crack open Giants DLCs usually within a week of it coming out. It's not going to harm Giants to give modders the files that they need, the SDK files, after the DLC has been released, so they can get stuff like that on their maps. That I that I have like issues with, because <laughs> it shouldn't be like that. Game's hurting this time around, I'd say. Seasons is going to be the band-aid for it. I think quite a few people have been saying that from what I've seen so far. But you need to help the modders this time around, Giants. You really do. Models are what keep keep people playing the game at the end of the day. Okay. Right towards the end of the video, a bit of negativity there, but it's uh, it's true. It's damn true. If any of you guys know what some, some reference that is, kudos to you. Alright, so we've got 10 foul of liquid fertilizer. That cost us an absolute fortune, but it should do us for quite some time. And we'll head down to field. I feel sorry for the guy that's got to go through this field and cultivate it now. Plow it. There's no way I'd ever buy this field in this game. Absolutely no way. Not unless I have a big bud stationed on site. Screw that nonsense. And that's another reality. When we're doing big jobs of cultivation or plowing. Yeah, let's just rent in or lease in the cheap plow cultivator and you guys will never know. Be surprised how much farm some YouTubers actually do that. You may not think they do, you may think, oh, but so and so plays 100% legit. Some do, yes. Quite a few of us. Ah, and the camera or the stream shots were there with a huge ass track to just go and ham. <laughs> get it done and seasons would be one of those ones the culty plow is something that I think you'd 100% see in the UK it's folds up and goes down the road real small it's just a nice piece of kid like actually and I just realized where the hell I can store these tanks and not have to deal with moving them all the time and I'll be in this barn So, apologies that we haven't been able to do a whole crazy amount today, but we're seeding, guys, and unfortunately, it takes its time. That's why I think I'm definitely going to double up on the seeder. I don't want to, but I think it's going to be beneficial. If I do this smart, actually, I may be able to just leave these tanks in here. <laughs> You'd never do this IRL, but at the end of the day, I'm on about to... Uh, saving this yard so it doesn't crumble into absolute ruins as far as FPS goes so like I said I am noticing an FPS drop so I'll be open with you I'll, I'll just pull it up here so you guys can see what I'm getting now granted the FPS script which I, I hate the fact it's private I hate the fact it's private I think even Oxys would rather it be out and in the public him and Ian are friends and I get why he, Ian's lost interest in the game, but good lord, that helps everyone, that, that mod. It'd be nice to see him release that somewhere. Even if it's not throw Oxy on Facebook for what it's worth. But, yeah, I'm not going to lie, actually, I'm getting better FPS than I thought I was. That's probably because I set that so damn aggressive. Actually, I'm really surprised. No once I've got bales in here and possibly cows, who knows. Who knows? Alright, that's finished up there. Perfect. Perfect is it. And I almost knocked my mug over, which luckily is empty. So, I'm going to bid you guys farewell. I hope you have enjoyed. We will be back tomorrow for American Truck Sim, which I'm just going to record straight after this. As far as the videos go, uh, mainstay right now. Greenwich Valley Farm is going to take a step back, so that's going to become two videos a week, and I will probably mingle that in with streams because it is fun. Hopefully he converts that to seasons relatively quickly, and I think I will end up rocking seasons on that map, because that map is beautiful. Uh, at that point, I don't know, because too many seasons maps will become probably very boring, be very slow. But if that's what people want to see this time around, I hope, fingers crossed, that is. 
So basically we'll be doing Oakfield uh, seasons for most of the week and then so Monday, Tuesday will be uh, Greenwich, Wednesday, so basically three times a week will be Oakfield including streams and two times for Greenwich and American Truck Sim or A Truck Sim, probably American Truck Sim on a Saturday. So until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed and we'll see you guys more than likely tonight on the live stream. Catch you guys later. See ya.